This is going to be a video tutorial on how to crop images into shapes in Adobe Photoshop. I will be using Photoshop 2023 for this. Let me uh, jump over to Photoshop here. Okay, I have Photoshop open now. I have an image in a folder here that I'm just going to drag over and drop into Photoshop. I'm just going to drop it in there. That is an image of my cat. What a handsome little devil he is. Anyways, to crop, uh, say that I wanted to crop out his face into uh, a circle or a polygon or a triangle or a star, the way to do that, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the layers panel and I'm going to double click on this uh, background layer here. That's where I have my image on the background layer. I'm going to double click on it. In the dialog box that opens up here, I'm just going to click on OK. Now I'm going to go back over to my Layers panel, and I'm going to right-click on that layer. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to go up to the top up here, and I'm going to click on Duplicate Layer. Now I'm going to go over to the dialog box here, and I'm just simply going to click on OK. I'm going to go back over to the Layers panel now. I now have my original layer and I have a copy of my original layer. The original layer here, I'm going to click on the little eyeball here. I'm going to hide that layer. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the Tools panel on the left-hand side here, and where the Rectangle tool is, I'm going to place my uh, mouse cursor on top of that, and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button. And what that does is it reveals the uh, tools underneath it, you could either choose a, rect a rectangle, an ellipse, which is a circle, a triangle, a polygon. You could choose any one of those. I'm going to choose the polygon. I'm going to click on the polygon. Now I'm going to click on my uh, image here. And in the dialog box it opens up to make a polygon. I have it actually set up to make a star. The only thing that you change about uh, to make it a star is the star radio 50%. I want it to be an actual polygon. I'm going to double click there. And for a polygon, you change it to 100%. I'm going to type in 100. I'm going to hit enter. And there's my polygon right here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the top up here. And I want to make sure that this is set to path. If it's not set to path, you want to click on the little drop down here and you want to set it to path. Make sure that's on path. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the tools panel again and I'm going to click on the path selection tool. It's right above the uh, shape tool, the path selection tool. And by doing that, I can size my uh, polygon here. I can pull out from the corner. If you want to keep your dimension straight, hold down the shift as you're pulling out. I'm going to do about right, right about like that. You can also hold down the left mouse button and you could drag your uh, shape around. You could also put your uh, cursor in the corner and you can see the arrows. It, it turns into curved arrows. That means you could turn it. I'm going to turn it around like this. I'm going to drag out a little bit more. I'm going to hold down shift while I'm dragging out. I'm going to have it just about like that. And now the next thing, you want to go up to the Layers tab. I'm going to click on the Layers tab. And I'm going to go down to where it says Vector Mask. Vector Mask. And then I'm going to go straight off and down to where it says current path current path as you can see it hid, it hid the rest of that image and now the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this excess uh, background here the way to do that you want to go up to the image tab I'm gonna click on image and you just go down to where it says trim and click on trim I'm just going to click on OK. I'm going to leave the settings the way they are here. 
I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, it got rid of a lot of that excess. Now, if you want to save this as a transparent background PNG, the way to do that, you want to go up to File. I'm going to click on File. And then you'll go down to where it says Export. And then you'll go straight off to the side. And you can click on Quick Export as PNG. I'm going to click on that. Now in the dialog box it opens up, you want to select the destination of the file that you're going to export. At the uh, bottom down here, I'm just going to change the name here. I'm just going to call it Photoshop 1. You can call it anything you want. As you can see, save as type PNG. It's going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on save. Now if I open the folder where I just saved that, right there is my image. I'm going to double click on it. And that is how you crop an image into a shape in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.